I always knew that I would get cancer. It would be just what form it would appear. As a parent, when your daughter gets diagnosed with cancer, it sucks the life out of you. 2007, after I had the test, it was a shock. You know, cancer, that's a big word. I was preparing to go for a bike ride with my daughter and I was checking the inflation of the tires and that's when my seizure hit. It was as if my right foot was planted and I was just spinning out of control. When my dad started spinning, I thought he was joking until he fell over and I knew something was really wrong. She called 911 and then she ran across the street to get a neighbor. At that point, we really didn't know what was going on. I don't remember much of what happened after the seizure, just that I got transferred to Marin General and then a short time after to UCSF. The doctor told me that I had brain cancer. Going to the fire department luncheons up here in uh, Petaluma, the uh, Cancer Foundation had their random testing and actually they found uh, cancer. Dr. Green notified me that I was positive. In January, I found a lump on my left hand and then I finally went to the doctors and they didn't know what it was. So I went to get an MRI, then I went to get a biopsy and then I was diagnosed with cancer. Avularo rhabdomyosarcoma. When we found out Ashley had cancer, we were devastated, heartbroken. I was kind of freaking out when I found out. I was scared of what was gonna happen. You know, at that time we decided that we, we were gonna fight, you know, a thousand percent. I went ahead and uh, contacted Tony Stefani and asked him how to navigate basically uh, through this whole system. My wife and I researched it, what it was, how do you get it, why me? Then I got a hold of the uh, Cancer Foundation. They held my hand and let me through everything. The foundation really came through and guided us in the right direction. They're there emotionally to help guide you through the system, um, to get you to the right doctors uh, and get the right treatment. When I informed my crew of my cancer diagnosis, I was immediately overwhelmed with the love and support, and it helped prop me up in my darkest moments. And knowing that Sarah was the sole provider, it gave me great comfort to know that the foundation had Sarah's back. I just remember Tony Stefani always telling me, be positive, be positive about this, because uh, you know that's, that's, a, that's what's gonna help um, Ashley get through all this. It's common knowledge that throughout our profession, cancer is an epidemic. It's an ironic situation seeing that I've been involved with looking at the level of toxins in our firefighting equipment. Back then we didn't, we didn't have the breathing devices, just little paper masks that we bought ourselves that we would use. During that period we had a lot of car fires, and a lot of the plastics and, and stuff that I didn't, oh, this plastic, I'll breathe a little bit better next day, and coughing and everything to get all the stuff out. The culture of our profession is moving in the right direction, but industry has to bridge this significant safety gap. <laughs> when something like this hits you and your family, especially you know uh, your youngest child, it's uh, it's definitely makes you appreciate things a little bit more. My cancer diagnosis has forced me to live one day at a time you're less likely to take the little things for granted. 
11 years now, I've been cancer free. Now I'm able to enjoy the, enjoy camping or spending time with the grandkids. It's been a God bless. If it wasn't for the foundation, I don't know what would have happened. I think at the end of the day, the true winner here is Ashley. You know, she's the one who's been fighting this whole thing. And uh, Casey and I are very proud of her. There was really no quit in my head. I was just gonna be it and get through it and say I would be cancer. The cancer is still there. However, I saw my cancer diagnosis having two options. The option to quit and the option to fight. And obviously I've chosen to fight. My life is undeniably different, but I will continue to be positive and I will continue to fight. All units out of the building will be going defensive on this fire. This is Lieutenant Jonathan Baxter reporting to you from Battery Crosby in the Presidio. This is a uh, surf and cliff rescue that we have for one individual trapped on the rocks. Uh, we reportedly had four individuals lost. We have determined that we only have one uh, individual uh, which we're actively attempting to rescue right now. Audio, you can see right now we have our rescue swimmers have just caught the subject. Our rescue swimmers have just gotten our subject safely onto a rescue board. We've got heavy fire on the back of the pier. The USS Jeremiah is in danger. 